Over here, going back to the Binding Lies of Repentance modded stuff. Um, as I'll say at the start of every episode, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But until then, um, this is part of the backlog still, which means I haven't uploaded episode 0 yet, so, you know. No surprise that I haven't got anything yet. Um, so for this one, I have a custom character planned. The first one I came across, uh, May. Uh, made by Goku Dev? Goku Fell? Goku Dev? I think it's Goku Dev. Um, yes, I have a short term memory. Anyway, that's a cool way of attacking. Um, before we move on though, we need to figure out where we are going, and as usual, we shall do that through courtesy of the wheel spin. Well, I don't think it can be clearer as that, but it seems we're going for beast again. Confetti and stuff. Don't get it in your eyeballs. Anyway, um, well, we'll see how this. Ooh. Okay, it's weird that you're not shooting straight down the middle. Uh, wolf thousand. Okay, that's handy. It's nice that you start off with piercing and spectral tears, though. At least I think they were. They are piercing. They're definitely spectral. Um, I do wonder how they're gonna deal with things like. Is tears up gonna add? Yeah, that would make the tear, tears up would add more. Oh, they're not piercing. Okay. Yeah, tears up would add. Um, okay, you can. I really hear the wolf howl, but it is there. That is still quiet. Uh, if I get a bomb, I'll go check it out. Um, so we are going. We'll see if we take the alt path. Okay, so the secret room is up above me then. Unless this second secret room is down. Low damage, I'm noticing. Thing is, I don't really know what to expect from the item she starts here with. These say that the item description mod that has no info on this, namely because it's a modded item and two, it's an intrinsic item, so. Never had the opportunity to tell me about it. Unless maybe something select does anything for me. I doubt it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Also, not a single bomb yet. Ooh. Okay, so she can have red hearts, it seems. That's nice. Excuse me while I go back here. Uh, no bombs. Hmm. There's money in here? Oh, it's gone now, okay. It's Rag Lady! I kinda wanna see where this goes, like... Sorry, I did. Hmm. Scratch my nose. Um, if I had to take a stab at things, I imagine damage would work normally, so damage would add damage. Tears up would add tears to the loop, and shot speed would make them turn around faster, and range would make it, you know, go faster. That makes sense, right? Uh, 
Uh, we get shot speed here. Um, whoa. I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, it's only if you hold it down. Oh, this is gonna get real weird real quick. And I don't think in a good way either. But now it's not... No, no, wait, there it goes. Oh, it's when you're not moving that things go haywire. Uh, okay. Okay, that's... That's better then. That's... That, 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 that is better. Um... We don't have to go alt path, so we don't. Alt path is more difficult after all. And if you're only doing it just to get the choice of a mystery item over something that is not a mystery, then I don't know if it's really worth it then. Um, it's not like the actual knife is that great of a weapon, right? Hoping not to find uh, any of the big ticket items uh, like Epic Fetus, Mom's Knife, Brimstone, because I don't know how it would mess up the current method of delivering bullets to enemies' faces strategy. This would uh, mess up. Um, on the other hand, I am curious to see if there would be actual synergies, because Tiny Planet, which is something that reminds me of this, just better. Um, it does have synergies with Brimstone, I believe. It's not a great one, but it is there. Okay, she cannot have red hearts. She just has black hearts. Okay, we have the wolf howl in here too. Uh, I'm gonna make that a bit louder still because I'm pretty sure it's still hard to hear. It's only black hearts. Uh, there is a tainted version. I might have a gander at that as well. Um, but considering this is a mod character, I have no problem just leaving her in. If you ever come across a mod where we just use special items or something, uh, I could eventually roll for a character as well as uh, as well as the uh, destination. Okay, sprinkler. This thing doesn't work with her. I don't mind it too much because it means my actual moving part gets extra damage. Uh, wheeling alternate item. Okay, fling enemy as a function chance to win flight. Meh, and this is just range, isn't it? Yeah. See if range actually affects the normal shooting or if it's okay, so get the normal shooting, please. Okay, if I get extra range, no. Okay, uh, we'll take this one then. Okay, 
We're going for angel deals, of course. Um, can we find out which one of these two has? No. Uh, okay. No second secret room for us then. Um, do we go all path? No. Also, okay. Um, Yeah, this is an interesting character. Um, there's like plenty more characters, so I don't think I'll ever run out of these. Um, unless the game starts freaking out. It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't replace a character like it does an FTL. So who knows? Maybe you can have like 50 custom characters on here. Um, would be cool. Um, and I guess we'll have to check if we need to unlock the um, tainted version of her. We're going to um, mother anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. We're going to have plenty of uh, tea shards available. On the way up. And we're going for beast anyway. Worth it. Okay, so she can have normal spirit hearts too, it seems. Okay. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Oh, you guys interact with... Okay, that's some... My reflection... I don't see why not. Well, that is certainly different. <laughs> it, it's no longer going behind her anymore. Which I guess is okay, because there's not much point to that. Things have just gotten a little less easier to aim. It looks like Hmm. Hmm. So I got something that makes tears come back to me and it ends up with them not coming back to me. <laughs> well, they do, but not as heavily as they did at the beginning. Interesting. Interesting. Buddy. Can't keep doing this forever. Health up. Two health up pills. How does that work? Huh. 
Huh. I don't have PhD or luck for it. Strange. Um. Okay. Let's do the boss sort of thing I'm a genius. Uh, actually, let's. Let's, 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 let's. Do this. That two and a half percent chance is gonna make all the difference in the world. Just you watch. Rag Mega. Pretty sure I fought your little sister earlier. Well, didn't make the difference. Oh well. Look at that lovely, beautiful smile. Um. What are my tears? I'm not touching anything, by the way. Huh. I guess my reflection is making stuff happen there. Um, are we gonna go check out that one room? Uh, probably not. Let's go. Carry on. Carrying on. Um, so, I really wouldn't mind finding some tears up. I kind of want to see how that works with stuff. Two spades. I'll just pop that straight away. Two of spades. So question marks does do something, doesn't it? I don't know what it does anymore, though. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, they turn occasionally just turn black. Good thing we have such high luck, right? We're definitely gonna be able to make good use out of that one. Remember that the head is actually completely useless to me. I'm just using this for the extra damage that I'm getting from having well an extra evolve shots and also the extra stats from light bulb. Um I was thinking whether or not, well, whether we take Polaroid or uh, negative, but that doesn't matter. We're going for. Uh, going for. Mother. That. Uh, mother the Beast, so we're giving up. How much more money do you want, buddy? Can you? Oh, you just hurt yourself. Good job, buddy. Full mapping effect. I do like a good mapping effect. I usually get the key piece whenever I can. Again, I like Angel of the Brooms better than Devil Deals nowadays. I think most people do. Satan kind of got screwed when so many trash items entered the Devil Deal pool. 
there's still pretty solid stuff in there, but if you can choose between good or great to mediocre items that you pay for or mediocre to great items for free, Larry Jr. has a top hat. Look at him. Look at him. Such a dapper fella. Luck up. I breathe this. Yes. Ooh, champion's belt. Let's check the shop first. Oh yeah, mod foot has become uh, bestia's foot, which is also a separate mod from the actual bestia boss fight. It's also not safe for work, bestia mod. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> uh. I don't judge. I don't judge. But is this really a game where you need to see melons in? <laughs> no. 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 Well, that's 15 cents down the drain. Probably even 20 C. If I get enough money, I'm giving that another go. Did I go in? Probably right. It's yeah, it's marked as having been entered. Um, did I miss anything in there? I did. But it wasn't money. Um, let's go blow up the other stuff then. Oh, I already did. Hmm. Well, usually the stuff in here isn't amazing. It was a trinket. Which one? I don't know. But it was a trinket. Range down. I don't think I can get any more money. I'm not going to be using this thing. That's what I'm looking for. Um, Alright, well. I blow open the, the donation machine, but it was a greed fight, so that's not possible. What are the odds of both of these carrying money? Mm, no. These? I always find it kind of funny when people go like, Oh, I never take the pills, because there are just bad ones in there. On one end, I'm like, yeah, you could get bad pills, but you could also get good pills. And they're like, yeah, so that evens out. Well, not really. <laughs> Even if you get like four bad ones and two good ones. Because the thing is, You'll only take the bad ones once. Unless you're running with the false PhD or something, I guess. So yes, usually I will chug down pills. Not the best life advice, mind you. But yeah. something about this thing isn't there uh, uh oh no there isn't there's one of these where you have to have like full red heart or something i think that's cracked crown or 
crown of light. You just see that tier? Jeez, that had like everything. An exploding holy light tier. Um. Definitely taking this. I don't mind the extra spew of enemies there, uh, bullets that I get, but this is something I can use on every single floor. Not every, uh, you know what I mean, every single room. And I'm also gonna get the, uh, because of it, I'm gonna get that damage bonus way more often. And I do be liking that. Um, is this the mom fight? Nope. Cool. That guy gives you flies and spiders. I don't think I've ever had him do his full payout. Might be the worst idea to give that a go. Uh, but again, I'll check the shop first and... Uh, make up my mind after. Is that... Soul of, oh, Soul of Zazel, that's a good one. Tainted the Zazel was an interesting character. I don't think I've ever made good use of his sneeze attack. Xlax. I never got good at hitting stuff with it. Seems like the hitbox was like way off for it for me. It probably wasn't and it's just me being stupid about it, but that was my experience with it. Um probably shouldn't bother with this, but gotta make some of my money back after that wonderful investment I did earlier. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay. Now we know that. Cool. Um, Grease of Fire. I don't think these are going to be considered familiars, right? No. Nope. Oh, I had to check, though. You never know with these mods, I guess. Even though it is the first one I use. Um, where did I... Secret Room, right? Yes. Hey, look, it's greed again. This is why I don't buy items. I'm barred from doing as such. It's rude. Yeah, thanks for the money. <clears throat> um, do I have anything to talk about? That's something I used to do in these, right? Um, I guess I do. I quit smoking. Been about a month now from when I recorded this. Um, doing all right. Um, I thought it would be different. Like they always say, oh, smoking or giving up smoking is difficult and stuff. Okay, I was prepared for it to be difficult. And I thought it would be like some sort of craving. You know, like, um, like feeling hungry, but then for nicotine. Um, I don't have that. I don't know if people who are in the same boat do get that. Uh, but I don't. The only thing that I noticed is that it, it's difficult to get out of the habit. Like, I've quit smoking a few weeks ago now, and even today I'll occasionally get up from my 
chair, grab my coat, and I'll be halfway outside before I realize when, oh yeah, I don't smoke anymore. Which probably saved me a couple of times now because, yes, I've always smoked outside. I never smoked indoors. Which meant going outside to have smoke. And fortunately, by the time that I am get to the outside, I've already realized that what I'm doing is no longer a thing I do. If I were to smoke inside, I would have, like, <clears throat> cigarettes and ashtray next to my computer. I probably would have had a lit cigarette in my mouth and not even realized it. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have finally kicked that nasty habit. Um, we keep going here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna deposit this here so I don't have to forget about it. Um, it's also quite difficult to be around other people that smoke. And even then, it's most like a do you really have to, lads? Um, but I am noticing the changes in health. For instance, I had like a permanent smokers cough for the last 15 years and it's nice to not have that anymore um, like having that cough was normal to me it shouldn't be um, Of course, it's also great because it, I'm not paying for cigarettes anymore, which are starting to cost an arm and a leg these days as well. It's kind of funny over here. They like government is like constantly working on. Oh, you need to quit smoking. It's bad for your health. And okay, then just jack up the prices of cigarettes to giant amounts, or just ban them. Eh, we're not gonna do that because you make too much money off of it. <laughs> anyway, um. One thing that I also have now is that it's really easy to pick out other smokers just by passing by because you really smell that somebody's a smoker. Holy crud, I never realized that. Uh, sponsor and friendly mobs that mimics Isaac's movements and attacks. I'm not gonna waste too much money on this. There we go. <laughs> Pentagram, though. Ooh, wow. Also, these should have new things. Go directly to jail. No. Bring him the photo. No, there's new ones in here, or there should be. Blame nobody but yourself. Apparently there's um, ones in here from a game called Cat Wars. Something something about cats at least. Um, and a few I did read seem to go well with the theme of this game, so I thought why the hell not? Is that a Oh my god it is. Um, but yeah, as I said, you, you really notice it when uh, you pass by a smoker. You don't even need to be smoking. You can just walk past and go like, yep, you smoke cigarettes. <laughs> uh, um, I also stopped without any help, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't use nicotine gum or patches or coaching. Um, that's not entirely true. That's actually a good story, but... Um, yeah, I just... One day just flicked my last cigarette butt. And... Never touched them since. But, yes, for those 
who are interested in the story. Um, I have a young nephew. Um, he's now three and a half years old. Um, and whilst I do always watch out when I'm smoking, whether or not he's around, because uh, I don't want him to, didn't want him to inhale my smoke. It's nice to say didn't instead of don't want to. Um, but yeah, so I did Isaac. make sure they never was like in line of fire of my uh, wonderful exhaust. Um, one day he did walk up to me pretending to have a cigarette in his mouth. That was a bit of a shocker. To me. And I think that's when I realized that it was probably time to, you know, quit. Um, I didn't quit then and there, because, you know, smoking is still a habit. A really bad one at that. Um, I waited until I had, like, a whole lot of time off at work. Uh, by a whole lot, I mean, like, uh, it would have been... Uh, does this matter? No, we're giving it up anyway. Uh, sure, come along. Do we need the other key? Uh, why not? Anyway, yeah, um, it would have been about seven weeks until I had a normal day shift again at work. So, I had a lot of vacation days and then occasionally I had night shifts or weekends, which meant I wouldn't be seeing most of my colleagues. Um, that's when I decided to quit because I know a lot of my colleagues smoke and seeing people smoke while they're just quitting, not good. <laughs> oh, this is still too funny. Uh, okay, so tears up seem to add more to the thing. Okay, that's cool. Um, anyway. So that's how I quit smoking. So far, so good. The only thing uh, is that I may have over-prepped a bit. Um, what I mean by that is people, a lot of people, uh, like a few days after I quit and I started telling people that I was trying to quit, uh, after telling me congrats this and that um, a lot of people told me that one of the things that's quite difficult to get over is uh, not having anything in your mouth uh, and they said well gum chewing gum can help with that so I bought chewing gum a lot of chewing gum. <clears throat> Turns out, not having anything in my mouth doesn't bother me that much. It's not that big of a problem. I still can you take the gum now, just to have something to chew on, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's kind of funny that I bought like way too much gum now. Um, so yeah, that's how I decided to. Turn my life around a bit, I guess. Can quitting smoking be considered turning your life around? I don't know. For somebody who doesn't smoke, it probably doesn't mean anything. For somebody who has tried to quit before, you probably know that's not the easiest thing. And if you're considering quitting, um, try it. I was one of the weird ones because usually when people quit smoking, um, yeah, I have to pills that are health ups. How the hell is that happening? Um, normally when people quit smoking, they toss their cigarettes, right? Whatever they have left, chuck it in the bin. If it's not there, you can't be tempted by it, being the uh, idea, I guess. Um, for me, that's not true. I still have a full pack uh, in arm's reach at this moment. Um... I don't know why, I just feel like 
what the... Oh, what's grab? I, I have a feeling that knowing that I could smoke if I really needed it is making it easier for me to not do it. Um, and I kind of decided to go that way because I remember at one point we went to... This is a while ago, like years ago. I went to a party and I was fine. Like there was nothing... Everything was on the door. Um, until somebody specifically came to tell me that you're not allowed to smoke inside of the building. And the moment it said you can't smoke is when I wanted to smoke. Um, so I thought, well, if that's still the same, why not just keep it back around? If I need it, I'll use it. But let's hope you don't. And so far, I don't need it. I also never got rid of my lighters. I still carry those around. I don't know why. I think I just enjoy fiddling with them every now and then. I'm not a pyromaniac, I swear. Um, but yeah, I guess it's just one of those things, right? Um, I'm not saying you should do the same thing thing as I did if you're trying to quit. Uh, I'm just saying that it's just one of those weird things that I did. Um, either way, I think that's... Oh, look at a racer right on time. Um, God dang it. Anyway, uh, don't make me forget about the. Oh yeah, we can't actually gone. get. Just get over it. Well, we can't can't actually use solar laser. Oh. How can you have spent our savings? Yeah, because we need to check if we have the um, tainted version. Okay. Um, I don't think we need it. Well, I'm gonna have to shape up a bit. Really, that hit me? Um. What the hell is that noise? I mean, I'm seeing the pop-up, so I know it's coming from that, and I know it's probably them healing, but why do they have to be so loud about it? I'm gonna get a mod these days that uh, changes the dialogue that you get in here. <laughs> You've heard it a few times now, and the first time was a whoa, my god, the narrator is dead and stuff, but now it's probably gonna change it. I've seen a few of them. I might switch it up every now and then. Keep a surprise for you guys if we pass by this place. So. I'm probably gonna use Soul of Zazel soonish then. Might as well use it to blast through one of these floors, right? Thing about how I quit smoking, and now it's like, hey, alcohol, woo! <laughs> Remember, that's the thing a lot of people do as well, right? They qu quit one bad habit through the help of a different bad habit. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm off of uh, the painkillers now. Okay, but you're taking like 15 cups of coffee a day now. Also, people do not like it if you call coffee and it call somebody a coffee addict. <laughs> They're both... Oh no, that's the Emperor. That's something different. Wow, you drink 15 cups of coffee a day? Shut up. I'm normal. I always jitter like this. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I have one cup of tea every morning with honey and lemon and that's enough. 
Because you two reasons, I've also cut back on soda now. I'm really going on a hell binge to start of this year, aren't I? Quit smoking, quit back on. You are insane. You are taking this soda. I'm not giving up soda entirely, um, but I did cut out two th thirds of my in daily intake. <laughs> Roughly two thirds. If you're wondering what the reason for that was, simple. It's an item in this game known as kidney stones. Not fun. And apparently if you had them once, you're pretty likely to get them again. way to prevent that is to drink a lot. I was also told that uh, soda is the main reason that I got the first one to begin with. <sighs> um, yeah, as far as uh, physical health goes, I'm doing quite well. I've also started playing a bit more VR now. Picked up Beat Saber. That'll get you moving. It's also burning a hole through my wallet because I'm because I keep buying songs. Also, don't go rushing to the comment section calling me an idiot for just not using mods for that. Um, I'm not good at Beat Saber. <laughs> uh, safe to say that I'm still a little bit on the uh, thick side, shall we say? I'm not like fat, fat. I'm like one. Meter 90, I'm about 110 kilograms or something. Um, but yeah, um, I can do hard difficulty on that, but that's where it ends. And I've noticed that with mods, you're looking at expert or expert plus difficulty for 99% of songs on there, which I understand completely because. The more you can put on a track, the closer you can be to having the notes come at you at just the right time and stuff like that. But my arms can't move that fast. So I'm stuck using uh, stuff on the store page that actually does have normal and hard difficulty. Still hits. <laughs> Still hits. Um, anyway, I'm kind of liking uh, May here. Um, so yeah, I got Beat Saber. I got a few diff other VR titles uh, picked up. Uh, Bone Lab, which I was a little disappointed about. Uh, not gonna lie. That seems to be the consensus for a lot of people. Um, it's short. It's good, but it's short. Um, I also felt like I was missing a sprint button. <laughs> then I picked up Bone Works, which was a prequel to that. And first thing I tell you is double tap to sprint. And I like, wait, was that in Bone Lab as well? Did I completely miss that prompt? Anyway, too late to turn back now. Also, Bone Lab made me sick a couple of times. There, for those who have played, there was a minecart sequence that made me sick. I actually had to put off my headset and stop playing. And there was a go-kart section, which I did two minutes of, and I said nope, and I just walked the entire race. 
Oh, and eat. Uh, wait, that's not here. Yeah, that's in the dark version. Okay, it's in our child. So you do already have the tainted character. Okay. the dog tooth noise that they just lengthened. I can hear like regular howling and barking in there as well. They just turn into a giant dog bowl. That's kind of I like how my mod to show how much chance I have for a planetarium is still showing up there. Didn't quite get the memo yet. Like, where, where is everybody? Oh my god. And then just wanders off as well. Also, I never checked if anything changed here. I don't think so, but... Oh, you don't get the plop anymore. That's weird. Why would that be a thing? Well, you still look your normal beastie self. I get a bit closer to you than I would feel comfortable with. Okay, something will really get me there. If I can take these guys out, I don't think that fighting against Bestia herself is going to cause me too much issues anymore. Okay, now the most annoying one of all. Yeah, not sure if I'll make it through this one. I mean, I don't need the victory. Oh, I need to check one. Uh, no, that's not showing up anything. Might have to get rid of that mob then. But if not serving me a purpose, then I might as well get rid of it. Well, half heart for Bestia, that's gonna go. <laughs> it's gonna go well. 
I'm alive. There you go. Who would have guessed that one? So I do have your other one then, right? Yeah, I don't get the thing here, but do I get... Yes, okay. Okay, we'll give her a go at some point too. We're probably going to try that our new character first. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the series. See you guys on the next episode. As always, if you have a challenge for me, let me know about it. Uh, this has been... Mmm, Mel. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.